week where we fall out over arguments. <laughs> no, no, we won't. Um, so, yeah, just to one topic, and this is brought up by Bryson, actually. Um, and the question is, track you would like to see reopen and why? Um, realistically, in brackets. So, I don't know who wants to go first on that one. Um, well, that would be an easy one for me. It would be Wimbledon. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> I was about to say, say yeah. <laughs> End of discussion, Wimbledon. though. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I don't know. It's tough because obviously I'd say Wimbledon. I certainly agree with that. I mean, if suddenly a multi-millionaire came back and said, right, we're gonna, I'm going to buy the land and we're going to reopen it, however, um, then yeah, certainly. Other options, I'd say, these are two little ones. Now, this is controversial because I love the current Aldershot, obviously. And to be fair, I don't mind what we have because I love Aldershot. But at the same time, I love the old Fleet Motor Club we had, which is, for those who don't know... Before it was all the shot raceway by Speedworth, it was Fleet Motor Club, but it was just known as Fleet. And um, the, the it was it was more of a like a Stan Lake type track, loads of races going on, all your non contact classes, and the bangers were back to basics what you have now, but literally full contact. It was it was it was ridiculous. It was so epic. All cars getting snapped <laughs> off and jacked up. It was it was back to basics gone mad back then. It was just crazy. <laughs> Um, oh, I do miss Fleet. It was it was different as well because it went I think from January to December time as well, so it never really stopped. They had like a little break in between, but that was crazy. And the same again, Tadley. Um, now that was reopened back in two thousand and ten or eleven by Fleet Motor mm. Club, the same promoters, but as a um, a tarmac track. But I'm putting in brackets here the dirt track. I, I um I went there as a kid, but I don't. I was too far too young to remember it. And enjoy the racing, but I'd love to see Tadley come back as a dirt track as well. That's another yeah. option. Mm. So, because um, when my dad went there many years ago, it was he, um, I think he commented there as well quite a bit, and um, always big turnouts, plenty of crashing. It was and it was pretty much bangers all day, I believe, as well. So a proper old school banger track. Um, another another dirt track that I'd like to see return is um, Lamb's Farm. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, we and mentioned like, that before. Oh, yeah, we, we mentioned that before. before but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a great track that was. I only went there once, and to be honest, I can't really remember it, but I've seen some footage of it, and yeah, great track. Proper grass Great, great car boxing racing ring. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad, Matt. Now, come on. I went oh. there many... A, I did go there a few times as a t- young teenager, and I have got some photographs, actually, still from those days back in early 2000 2001 2002 and i've got to say all the times i went there obviously being that i live near croydon it was quite easy to get to by bus so uh, it was an excellent track it was right down the bottom of a hill off the actual ro- lambs road on this farmland and it was as you say matt like how uh, fleet motor club used to be it was literally race what you bring uh, quick easy build um, but they still had plenty of big contacts, so it was a, a very good track back in the day. I'd love to see that come back again. I never, I never realised this, but I, I currently live in Newbury, and I never realised there was actually a dirt track in Newbury. This was many years ago. They had a, a dirt track here, then it mm. closed down and, be, and moved round the corner, so it was still in Newbury, but I'd love to see... Oh, it's not going to happen now, obviously, because um, where the track was, there's all roads there now, but... I'd love to have seen um, a track literally five, minute down, five minutes down the road from me. <laughs> That'd have been yeah. awesome. Um, <laughs> again, another track, Coventry, just recently closed, sadly. And yeah. Impact Videos have just released a DVD of that, Best of Coventry Bangers, I believe it's called. Um, yeah. It'd be quite sad watching it. I only ever went there twice, but what a track it was. The, the Bristol yeah. ones were always lively, great viewing areas. Um, yeah, I'm just pretty, I'm still pretty sad, sad about that, really. Um, it's, it hasn't really sunk in with me, because like I said, I wasn't really an avid... Coventry person, he went twice in my lifetime, but still, um, that's quite yeah. a great here. And yeah, I, I, lo- I was going to say Coventry was an excellent track, especially for Britskers and National Saloons. It really was an ideal track, and obviously, I had the option, lovely option, of actually commentating there for three seasons. And uh, I was gutted when I actually had to pull out of the final year uh, due to uh, work commitments on Saturdays because there was going to be a change of uh, working hours. And uh, sadly, I had to hang up doing the commentary at Coventry. But uh, and then to find out it was actually going to be the last year in the end. So very gutted on that. I never even knew you commented at Coventry. No, yeah, (laughs) yeah. I I, I, I had the 
uh, option given to me to do a Coventry. I went up there one meeting. They needed someone, and they said, "Yeah, you're really good. Uh, do you want to carry on?" And I ended up there for three years, and it was a very, very good track. And as I say, Briskers and National Saloon around there were epic. So uh, um, yeah, very sad loss. Another thing I've just realised is um, if I won the lottery, another thing I would do is reopen the old West World and if what, what's happened in that area. And once a year, mm. just do a one-off meeting once every year, bring back the blockbuster of 100 plus cars. <laughs> yeah, that I'd will do. be yeah. bad. In the time, pro- that. Uh, the proper yeah, blockbuster. Good, yeah. Oh, See, again, I, that was back a meeting I just, I just missed out on because I got into racing at the tail end of 2014 and that was mm. the year the lo- they had the last, I'd say, proper big blockbuster at Westworld. So I just missed out on that. And I'm heartbroken still that I missed out on it. But I've got all the DVDs, though. So um, all is good. Any other tracks we can think of that uh, have recently closed or closed many years ago, but they could reopen if there was money there? Crayford, maybe. Still, ah. race, still race dogs there. Track's mm. still there. It's still a stadium. So I never know. I've- I delivered round there over the course of this year, and I keep looking for the dog track, and I never got to found it. It's on the gyratory somewhere, but I can never find out where. Because wherever some... I follow the signs, it goes to a big Sainsbury's. No, it is literally <laughs> next to the Sainsbury's. You've got to look to the right. This is going well off track here, but yeah, yeah it's just to the right of the Sainsbury's, and I'm, I think it's red. It's a big red stadium. Ooh. Right. It says Crayford Stadium up the top. Yeah. Before, before we move on, I was actually I've, I've forgotten to read the Facebook comments regarding um regarding this topic. Um, so I'm gonna, there's quite a few actually. There's quite a few comments on this one, surprisingly. So I'm going to read as many as mm-hmm. I can. Um, Ryan Barber, I'm just going to read the first sentence out. <laughs> Next to go could be Mildenhall with the ma- massive drop in numbers and fans since the Speedworth takeover. <laughs> I, don't, um... I don't know. I know it's not on topic, but I don't know, Andy. The fan as the fans. Has the um the attendance has actually gone up for spectators at Mildenhall, if anything? It, it's been up and down all year. I mean, obviously a lot of people are still in the uh, we love RDC mode. And yeah, you can respect that because I've got nothing against, obviously, RDC when they ran it. Obviously, I had nothing against Michael Coventry or any of the Coventries, to be fair. And obviously, uh, yeah, it, it, it's been up and down. It all depends what's on, on the actual day of the event. And obviously... Uh, car bookings have not been like they used to there at Mildenhall but again people have got to give Speedsworth and obviously Mildenhall Stadium Limited a chance obviously it's their first year running it completely obviously there's going to be TV troubles there is obviously going to be issues that need to be addressed and people can't complain that a load of work has been put into that track so and there is still more some good improvements and there is still more work to come so uh, watch this space but obviously going back on topic um, all I can say is to those people, give us a chance, please. And going, and, going back and, off, to, going back off topic, over sixty cars <laughs> booked this Sunday. Yeah, so there's quite a few national bangers. So don't mm, worry about yeah. that. <laughs> no. Um, anyway, and about Speedworth taking over. Yeah. Would we necessarily have a Milden Hall? No, you wouldn't, because nah, exactly. the bill from the um, court case um, would have meant the stadium would have had to close down anyway. So uh, I think people have got to be grateful for the fact whether they like. Speedsworth or Dean Wood himself um, thanks to him we've still got milled Norm we still will do now for many years to come yeah and I'm Enjoy sure him. I'm sure Andy Watts would do anyway as commentator <laughs> well, he'd do he'd do <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. say um, no more no no more um, and again Ryan Barber also says he would like to bring back Braintree that's his option in the, uh, on the comment yeah. so mm. that's an interesting one um, let's have a look Mark White says Great Gidding to open again that's probably one of those old proper old tracks I would say I've never heard of that to be honest no I um, haven't this one got 16 likes John Joe Cunningham I think he's 307 normally who sometimes yeah. he mm-hmm. says Swatham is a good track and good location although it's not gone or going it would be great to get it back to its former glory so I've not been to Swatham so I can't comment on what it's like these days um I'm guessing you'd like it to be back to the old days, um, post and rope or something. Yeah, I'll say That's post sure. and rope, going back um, to the old earth shaker days and ice breakers. Ooh, yeah, here's one for you, uh, Andy. Will Dryden says Bovenden. Bring that oh. back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Any day of the week, I'd love to see Bovenden come back. But the only thing that ever made it bad about Bovenden was it always seemed to rain on the Sundays that Bovenden was running, 
And if it didn't rain, you fried to death and got a sunburn. But apart from that, Bovington was an excellent track. Yeah, I would love to see that come back. Um, and again, to Bovington. awesome track. Again, John Joe Cunningham. Cunningham. Again, off topic now. He's saying, oh no, he's, no, he's saying bring back, I think it's Bradford. And he says, a meeting sponsored by Cage. £500 unlimited final. <gasps> £200 two litton on Mondale final. And a £100 micro final. Who's going to fund that then? Who's going to fund fund that sort of meeting? I'm sure oh, if I, I just... could pull up, open up my bed or maybe uh, look around the back of the sofa, I could pop a few coins <laughs> out and maybe some notes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers um... crossed. Let's have a look. Or win the lottery. Um, I've given up with that idea. I think I'll just look around the back of the sofa every couple of months and see what I've dropped behind there. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> but no, I think there's a whole host of tracks that people would love to see come back. I mean, Whiz Beach is another one. Rye House. I mean, yeah. they're just two Gary of the says crew. Fast. Crew. Ooh, no, now I never about. got to see Crew, but a lot of people spoke about it and said it was a very good track, and I'd love to see a bit more on that from the early years. That's it. I think that's it from the comments as well. So I don't know if we've Excellent. got any more um, yeah. comments we'd like to make on that subject, but I'm going to say if I had to pick one, I'm going to say Tadley Dirt. Think about a dirt track, Tadley. That's my final answer on that one. Mm. Come on, guys! You got to pick one. You got to pick one. Well, obviously, Wimbledon would be an obvious one, but yeah, I'm trying to you. think of another one. So, yeah, Wimbledon. Yeah, I don't know. Um, if we're looking at it, things realistically, Crayford in my eyes, to be honest. Yeah. Because but... I, I can see that happening. Well, I can't see it happening, but, you know, I mean, I think it... Mm, potential. Possible, yeah, potential. And, so, yeah, uh, Crayford. Okay, that's good. So, we've got that... Uh, discussion 